Hi Red Face, I hope you're all doing well. For today's bedtime story, we are going to read a special book about Ramadan. This book is called My First Ramadan and it's written by Karen Katz. On the front cover, it has a boy and he is pointing at something. What do you think he's pointing at? Should we have a look inside and see? Look, there is the new moon in the sky. We will begin our holiday called Ramadan, a holy month for Muslims all around the world. You were right, he was pointing at the moon. For one month, Muslims will fast from sun up to sun down. This means they will not eat or drink anything all day long. This year, I am bigger and I will try to fast for the first time. Daddy and I read about Ramadan in the Quran, our holy book. We fast because it helps us to concentrate on our faith. It also reminds us to be thankful for all that we have. Here he is, reading the Quran with his dad. In the morning, before the sun comes up, Mama makes a big breakfast. We call it suhoor. We share buttery eggs, toast, fluffy pancakes and fresh berries and orange juice. Mmm, that, all that sounds very yummy. I eat and eat until I am so full. So here they are, as a family, eating their suhoor. Daddy leads us in a morning prayer called Fajr. We pray five times every day. Muslims follow a religion called Islam. This means peace in Arabic. I go off to school for the day. It will be hard not to eat or drink. We stay busy at school making calendars for Ramadan. Sometimes we learn songs and play games, just like we do in school. At the end of the day, as the sun begins to set, we get ready for our evening meal. Before we sit down to eat, we wash our hands and eat a sweet day, just like Muslims did almost 1,400 years ago. Wow, that is a long time ago. That is when the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, first taught his followers to break their fast with a date and a sip of water. At last, it is time for iftar, our evening meal. We eat on the floor to keep our tradition. We pr say a prayer called Maghrib, and then it's time to eat. I am so hungry. Everything tastes so good. So here they are, as a family, eating their iftar. We go to the mosque to pray. The mosque looks beautiful, standing tall against the starry night. It is like magic. So here is the big mosque. And there are people there walking towards the mosque to go and pray. After four weeks have passed, I look up at the sky to see if there is a silver of the new moon again. Yes, we all see it. This means that Ramadan will end tomorrow. Hmm. So if Ramadan ends tomorrow, what happens next? Hmm. Should we have a look and see? We gather the next day in the town square to celebrate Eid, the end of Ramadan. I see Muslims from Asia, Europe, Africa, Australia, North America and South America. So there's Muslims all around the world that celebrate Eid together. 
I go with Daddy to say the Eid prayer. We feel happy to be together. Mama and my sister pray together in a different room. When the Eid prayer has ended, we say Eid Mubarak, which means have a happy and blessed Eid. At last, we have a party with presents and games. All my relatives are here. We are happy that we have celebrated another Ramadan together. So here they are, all together as a family and opening presents and having fun and celebrating that they have done another Ramadan together. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. I know I learned a few things about Ramadan that I didn't know before. Until next time, take care. Bye.